Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to our Canadian Canadians. viewers. Canadians. Canadian viewers, right? Americans are like, what? Yeah, I know. Huh. I know. I know. <laughs> a. Canadian. Canadian Thanksgiving A. Welcome to the White Hatter. Uh, we should decorate the set. That's all right. Oh, maybe next That's time. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> I still think it looks pretty good. It's yeah, it's more lights, eh? Yeah, down here it was kind of dark. You want to say used A because it's yes. celebrating Canadian A. Yes. Yeah, because well, you so you added more lights to make it more yeah. blue down below, right? Just down here, it was yeah, kind of too looks, dark for me. Looks cool. Looks cool. Hey, what is that thing? Oh, that's the old computer you, you that you first uh, Frankenstein, wasn't it? Yes. When you were a, like in middle school, I think yeah, it was, or a, yeah, an old yeah. computer that's been taken apart. You Frankensteined it. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what ah. young people did, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Welcome to the White Hatter uh, YouTube news show. Hey, any new stickers on your laptop? Nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing All right. new. Sorry, back on topic. Uh, let's talk about some updates yes, from us. Yes, why don't we do that? Uh, first update from us uh, is from us. It's uh, our White Hatter YouTube. No. You, well, Facebook. Facebook. Facebook Live. Facebook yes. Live. That's uh, tomorrow night. Uh, starting at what time? Uh, it's at uh, 7, 7 o'clock. o'clock right? Yeah. And it's going to be kind of a cool show. What we decided to do was to go true and false questions. So what we're mm -hmm. gonna do is we're gonna ask a bunch of questions that we've been asked by parents before over some of the issues that are quite sometimes controversial. And we're gonna answer some of those questions, yep. right? I mean, there's quite a few questions actually. I'm actually yes. looking forward to it, right? It's gonna be a good session. So make yep. sure you tune in live on Facebook. It's gonna be live. Yep. For our monthly uh, Facebook live chat. And then obviously at the end of the session, we also open it up to Q&A, right? If there's anybody else who yep. has any other questions, you can go ahead and do it. So. Uh, another update from us is a new blog is up on the website and there for people to read. It's quite an in-depth uh, research-based article. Yeah, that one was on the whole issue of, because. Uh, I'm sick and tired. Like we've been reading it for years. How there are some groups that uh, associate uh, social media and phone with drug addiction, and mm -hmm. that it has the same addictive qualities as heroin and cocaine because of the dopamine that is released. Mm -hmm. And the research just does not support that. And so that's what that was all about: was to write an article that is evidence based to bring this issue forward to say, no, you know what? There is problematic behavior. Don't get me wrong, right? But yeah. to associate with what we see to drug addiction and heroin addiction at a biochemical uh, scientific standpoint, absolutely inappropriate. Yeah. Right? And that's what that article is all about. Uh, a lot of good uh, feedback from a lot of researchers uh, in the field who've read that and went, that's a really good compilation of what you did there. there, there. Good. I'm learning from you. Good. Right? You're rubbing <laughs> off on me. So, because you're the academic, not me. True. Right? So. Uh, and uh, there was, we had uh, we were involved in a little tiny uh, local documentary uh, about <laughs> online sexual exploitation that we were interviewed for. So hopefully that will come out next year. It was done here in the studio. So yeah, that was uh, kind of cool. They really enjoyed it because we basically had a setup for them to do it, right? So <laughs> I mean, it's it's a documentary on exploitation and predation, and uh, both uh, out in the. Uh, uh, Real world? I, I, I See, I always struggle with that, right? Because I've now, I've, I've now learned that there is no difference between the two, right? Like, to my generation, we still see a difference between the online world and the digital world. Your generation and the new ones today, it's one world is the online world. True, right? but there, I guess there still is some physical differences. That's, that's true. That's true. So this documentary covers off both, and they were really interested in talking to us about what we do, our research, mm -hmm. how we help teens and families who are being targeted by these guys online, mm -hmm. and what we teach students. And what the, They were only supposed to be here for an hour. They were here for three hours. Like, they they, they, they said they could have stayed with us the whole day. There's like a lot they, of footage. They just, they just loved what it is that yep. we had to share with them, and I'm sure they'll be back. So uh, big shout out to Mia and the rest of her crew. We had a good time. Yes, yeah. a lot of fun. Uh, let's talk about some news stories. Do, 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 do. In the news. First In the news. news story has to do with our friends at the EFF, the Electronic Freedom Frontier. Uh, they have a an add-on for your browsers known as Privacy Badger. Uh. Uh, it's a it's a it's a do not tracking add-on that you put on your web browser and when you visit websites it uses AI and it basically prevents them from tracking you. Not perfect, but it does a pretty good job at uh, making them stop tracking yeah, yeah. you. So they have some brand new updates utilizing some new uh, what they call global privacy control, utilizing some new technology <laughs> that some websites are supposed to be using in order to be respecting people's privacy or not. Now this is only for desktops and laptops, right? It's not for mobile? Yeah, I, I'm not a, definitely iOS. No, because iOS is just iOS. Android, I'm not quite sure if they have. 
I'm not quite sure. I have to I have to double check if it's available for the Android platform, like on Firefox. It might be, but I have to double check on that one. But definitely for desktops, though, totally. It's so what's the advantage to this? Uh, the advantage is you install it. It doesn't really change anything. It, and then every website you visit, it sends requests or blocks them from accessing data on your computer or your browser. That's a smart thing. Being used to track you. And it uses artificial technology because some websites just don't work. Ooh, if you we're going to talk everything. about AI a little bit later in another story, aren't we? A little yeah, more scarier. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's a free add-on. Uh, this is this is from an organization that's the world's most renowned privacy organization. So if you download it, install it, there's no real risk to you because their job is for privacy. As soon as you fl flash that up, and I saw uh, privacy badger, all I could think of was honey badger. <laughs> Yes. Honey Badger. Remember yes. that video? Yes, I remember that video. It was great. Video. It was great. I remember that. You don't mess with Honey Badger. Yes. Honey Badger don't like that. Uh, you added this to the show. Um, <laughs> yeah. Which is, a, which is an interesting little, I guess, company that allows people to join in Zoom meetings without actually being present. They're, pri they're primarily targeting students for this. Go figure. High school, middle school, university, college. And the whole idea is you sign into this thing and the teacher, the professor, whoever's teaching the Zoom class, actually thinks that you're actually signed in and taking the class. Yeah, right? I was reading I was reading the features and I mean and one thing it says, it connects to, it connects without the webcam on. So I guess if you're in a class, if you're like in elementary school, middle or high school, and you're required to have your camera on, right. I mean, that might be a bit of a red flag, yeah. but I mean, um, I would be... Oh, uh, uh, sorry, teacher, my camera's broken. I can't use it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they can't tell. <laughs> they can't tell. Uh, I mean, first thing I thought is that they could offer a premium service where they plop, plop in a deep fake AI version of you. Oh, I've seen those too. Have you seen a lot of those now popping up? Where yeah, there's I, way more, way more companies now doing AI. I, I mean, a good example. The, um, I think it was the family at the school shooting. Maybe it was Stony Brook. They used AI to bring their child to life in AI to share the message about gun control and why it's so important uh, during this upcoming mm -hmm. U.S. election. It, it was spooky watching mm. it right because it it looked so real like yeah. it was unbelievable um tv's always fun with this kind of technology but i watched i was watching a tv show on netflix and uh, it was a crime show and it was all fake but i mean like they th there was a, a hacker who used a deep fake and they made someone but look to do something that they weren't actually doing and they got arrested and they were actually um they were involved in a critical incident uh, following that, and uh, they lost their life because of because emergency services, uh, they thought the video was was real, and well, they had to treat the person as an actual threat. Like it, when you think about how real AI is looking now, like they, there's another one going around right now where this guy does this in front of his face and he turns into different actors, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like super real. But think about this, right? Like if I wanted to, here you are, you're the White Hatter, and you wanted to go after this company for whatever reason, mm -hmm. somebody creates a, a deep fake about you saying and doing something that is totally goes against what it is. Yeah, that we, true. How would people know the difference? And now all of a sudden people are going, well, hey, I heard you hear this this Brandon Lord guy from the White Hatter, like he he preaches all this stuff, but he actually hears what he actually thinks. It, totally. I mean, thankfully, like I think it was Adobe reported on, I think months ago, they're working on software that actually detects yeah. AI that detects yeah. AI. Uh, but again, it's, I don't think that's for free. Yeah. And, 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 and I mean, obviously I would charge them with, uh, I, would, I would go after them for, uh, impersonation. You'd have theft. to prove who it was though, right? True. I mean, that's the thing. But, but that's why you'd use Adobe software. It'd be like this, see, it scanned it and it, yeah. it's, it's not. I mean, when, when, the, when the first deep fakes came out, you could kind of tell that it wasn't really yeah. real, but they're getting so, they're getting so, so perfect now. I mean, a good example is. Did you see some of the uh, President Trump's things where he was talking and it was quite clear he was using a green screen? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, you could tell, right? Mm -hmm. But I think technology is now getting so good that it's it's scary, right? Because this could cause world conflict, right? Where oh, all certainly. of a sudden, you know, it's it's somebody from a world leader saying something I mean, they shouldn't be saying to cause everybody to think, well, he or she's about ready to push the, the red button, right? It could help. It could help by by making people not believe what they see on the internet is true. Because it, right now in today's world, I guess in the last couple, 10 years or so, a lot of people, we, we've been saying, don't what you see online may not be true. But I think if 
if this technology is being used so often as it's now going to be, it that is. maybe people will hopefully stop falling into the trap of believing what they see online is true and just assume everything is false. Unless it's from, and then going back to the making sure it's from a proper authenticated uh, yeah. authority. But source. you know as well as I do that just a lot of people are online. I mean, just look at the QAnon and all that kind of stuff that goes on where where people still believe this stuff, right? And so it's it's kind of scary. I mean, even the porn industry is all in on on AI right now and turning things virtual. I mean, it's unbelievable what's going on. So it's going to be scary where it's going to go because again, if all of a sudden, you know, think about this from a police department standpoint. All of a sudden there's a video pops up of a student who is saying, you know, I'm about to go to the school and shoot it up. But maybe it was a bully doing this purposely to another student using AI and deep fake. What's the police department supposed That's to do? That's kind of the, the, the storyline of the of that TV show episode I was watching. Oh, really? It was more, it's more serious, more of a terrorist act. Yeah. Like more, more serious than that. Like we're going to have to take action. It's kind of like swatting right now, right? Like explain to everybody what swatting means. Oh, um, usually happening in uh, the gaming community. Uh, someone's live streaming, most likely live streaming. Uh, uh, someone who wants to be a troll finds out the information, personal information of a, of a streamer streaming a game online. Yep. They call up a police department going whatever ruse they want to use, something serious. Emergency response teams have to breach the facility, the house where this person's just staying there playing yep. a game. Uh, and yeah, it's, um, it's getting difficult for, I guess, professionals law enforcement, governments, and consumers to to believe what we see online, and I think... What, there's no house hippo? <laughs> exactly. And I think, yeah, because... Shout out to Media Smarts. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of stuff, and a lot of people have have the idea of like first hand reporting knowledge with social media right? right you could you could be at a protest you could be at you could be somewhere taking your phone recording first hand getting yeah. first hand information that's all great but it's the questionability of the authenticity right although you were there can we really believe first hand knowledge nowadays yeah. and what do we have to do in order to prove something is actually true in the video i mean good example you can spoof text messages and we've seen that a couple of people spoofing text messages taking screenshots showing to police department but it turned out they photoshopped the the text stream but it just wasted resources because yep. they had to be investigated yep, and i sure. think perhaps better I don't I don't and that we have enough laws in the book that prevents that yeah I don't know either I mean it's just this whole uh, deep fake thing and artificial intelligence and the way it's going it's got a lot of people starting to scratch your head a little bit more going you know where are we going with this and what do we need to do to protect one another right like, I would think identity theft and um, impersonation laws would would be a deterrent on that but the issue is is trying to figure out who they are because what if it's a state actor doing it true right? so it's it's all kinds of interesting uh, interesting rabbit holes that one can go down right mm -hmm. so yeah what else uh, what else uh, hey Amazon Prime days are coming up Woo <laughs> What is that? The 13th or the 14th, right? Yeah, it's, um, yeah. So for those um, who are shopping from home and... You know what? I hate you. Here's the reason why. What? I know. <laughs> you that's, convinced that's your mother. Oh. She's never, ever, ever shopped on Amazon before. Yeah. Ever. Okay. And then you convinced her to maybe consider it to do it. So after the... For the past three weeks, all she's been doing is going on Amazon and going, oh, that's cool, buy that. Oh, that's cool, buy that. And she's done all her Christmas shopping already, and she's just waiting. Like, she sits on, I can see her hand shaking because she's ready for the 13th where she's going to hit purchase and she's going to hit that send button. Yeah, and this is all your like, fault. Here's the thing. Probably like, maybe like only five of those things will actually go on sale. <laughs> what, even, if, even if none of them go on sale, she's still going to hit that send button. She goes, this is Fun! You've created a monster. Anyways, back on back on this. So what's going on here? Uh, and we've been we've been seeing this over the past months, and security other companies have seen this, mm -hmm. where there's been an increase in fraudulent websites mm -hmm. mimicking Amazon, mm -hmm. and according to uh, Bolster.ai, uh, they've seen an increase, especially in the month of August, probably you know ramping up for Prime Day when they have right. a lot of people. Actually, Prime Day's earlier this year. Is it? Yeah, it's earlier this year. Oh. Last year was later. Oh. 
It's uh, it's interesting, um, I, and I think it's an attempt to kind of cut out uh, brick and mortar retailers. Oh, anyways, go figure. Actually, I saw a sign because uh, at... usually you'll see other stores all of a sudden call it Black Friday or Black Monday, so that they're running in-store specials at the same time that Prime does this, right? So yeah. maybe they're trying to beat them to the punch. Well, I, I, at our local Walmart, I was shopping the other day, and I saw a sign. They have a new. Were you they... wearing your mask? Yes, I was. There you go. Uh, they were wearing. A, they had a poli- They have new policy about uh, uh, about uh, price match flyers. Uh, how they don't do it at the tills anymore. Really? Yeah, and I was like, "Is that in order to prevent against Amazon?" And the cashier said to me, "No, because we should already have the lowest prices, anyways." I was like, "But you don't. Sometimes. But you don't. There's Amazon, right? It's interesting. Uh, interesting. So it's uh, are retailers not caring anymore about price matching online." Well, I, we've been saying this for years, right? The brick and mortars are in trouble, right? I mean, like it or not, a lot of these things you can buy on Amazon for dollars cheaper. And in today's COVID world, everybody's looking to purchase something to save some money. I right? also think because consumers are a lot more pickier in terms of the amount of options they have, yeah. right? When you look at like 20, 50, 30 years ago, the amount of op when you went to every house kind of had the same kind of thing, right? But now because of 3D printing, mass production, and online shopping, you can get something just a little bit particular in how you want it. Yeah, that's true. But you know, one of the things that uh, mom and dad do is we like to support local business. Mm-hmm. So although I may pay a few more dollars to buy something at this location at brick and mortar, if it's local, we'll do mm-hmm. that, right? Because we want to support local business. But there's no doubt that you know you can get far better deals in most cases on Amazon, right? And yeah, so or another online retailer. Yeah, for sure. And oh, speaking of which. Um, did you see that new printer that now uses a laser to burn burn into whatever you want? Be it, you know, like if you want to etch the back of your iPhone hmm. or kind of cool. Yeah. You know, kind of get cool. it, Can we get that on 3D printer for the studio? I heard, you know, you and these 3D printers, what would you do with it? I have no clue. Exactly. Well, I don't know. You need, you need, you need something, you need a little adapter for a camera or something. You just print it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, going they, they now have you seen the one that they got for um, building homes now? Like, like it's, yes. it's, it's 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 a three D printer that uses a specific type of uh, concrete, yeah. right? But it, they basically punch out a house every four or five hours or something yeah, like that. It's like holy yeah. cow, That's right? Cool. It's um, unbelievable. So what else is going on? Uh, so basically, the Amazon Prime Day is coming up. Chances are there's going to be an increase of scams happening. <laughs> an interesting one, like there was one website the company detected, which was AmazonCustomerSupport.net, which is not owned by Amazon. Basically, just looks like Amazon. A couple key key signs to look for. Uh, number one, um, some of these websites will, uh, for doing returns or something, will request your bank information. Uh, here's the thing: Amazon only returns based off of the original payment method. Right. So you, so if it's asking for something different. Suspicious. So, what if I used a gift card? How do they? Re, how do they? It just go back back on the gift card. Oh, really? Well, if it's Amazon, it, it goes back into your account balance. Oh, okay. Uh, and then uh, some of these sites have no password requirements, which, if you need to return something from Amazon, you need to log into your account. So, you need to know who you are. So, if there's no login requirements, that's a huge red flag as well. That's Jeff Bezos, right? Amazon. Probably the richest person in the world is right now. Is he the richest person? I believe he's number one right now. You, you got to admit, it's Amazon is pretty slick. I mean, they're they're the way they treat their workers, not so much, right? But <laughs> yes. I mean, their their business model is pretty slick. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to have their their drones starting to deliver stuff. Uh yeah, I think they're currently in test. Down. I know. I think they're in testing. I don't know which in which I state. No. I know it's going to be wild, right? The issue is in see Canada, those big we have drone laws. blimps where the blimps and they, then they drop the drones out yeah. of the blimps, right? And yeah. The blimps are like the the flying yes. uh, warehouses with all this stuff, and then poof, 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 poof. it's like what? Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, I think hey, have you seen? I think the next step is for for someone to develop the. Uh, you the, know what you can get me for Christmas? What have you seen the new toy? It it look it's it looks like um, uh, a little drone, but. You, you toss it up, it immediately launches, and then you do this, and it uses sensors, and you can push it around a uh-huh. room and stuff. It's apparently, it's, I was watching videos on it, it's really cool. I was thinking, like, it, I'm just gonna get you can <laughs> when, we can, when, we can, when we go back into teaching in school, we can launch it, and it's fully covered, so you don't have to yeah. worry about, and then what you do is you do this, and it sends it towards the kids, and then the kids can go like this, and it sends it back to you. Very cool. I mean, it's very cool. Okay. Anyways. Squirrel. 
I think net, the net, I think I get there. I don't oh, know. Amazon I think the next product the to be made is someone to invent the uh, the Star Trek replicator. That's the Just, next step. Speak of replicators. Oh my God. What? Do you do you watch Saturday Night Live? Uh, I haven't recently. No. Oh my God! They they did a skit on the presidential debate. I don't know if you heard, but as Pence is talking, this fly landed in his Oh, yeah, okay. I, 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 saw, I saw the memes on TikTok. It's funny. It yes. landed in his hair for The fly got the most oh, attention. Oh. Saturday Night Live did a skit on it where they had Joe Biden go into, remember the movie The Fly? Where, where the actor walks into this like teleporter thing and turns him into a fly. Okay, okay. Well, they have Joe Biden go into this machine, turns Joe Biden into a fly, and then teleports Joe Biden as a fly onto Pence's head. So the fly is... Anyways, it's hilarious. For those of you who like Saturday Night Live, <laughs> check it out on YouTube. It was one of the funniest skits uh, mom and dad have watched in a very okay. long time on... Anyways. How do we get on that topic? I don't know. I don't know. Next news story. Uh, <laughs> so secu secu go, security researcher with a go. Twitter account uh, was sent a direct message from Twitter talking about, hey, your account's violation of yada, yada, yada. Mm. Uh, yeah, hi. Hey. I pressed the wrong button. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. Uh, um, and we, we, I mean, we talked about this kind of on, with Instagram yeah. last week, but it happens on every social network platform and when people think well phishing email scams only happen through email yes no no now was this sent via dm direct DM. message yeah dm from, like, from an account that looks like twitter that's yeah. mimicking twitter but in fact it's not twitter yeah. so again check the source check, check the, source. the source check the source uh oh this one. okay next story uh hackers can use ai machine learning to attack cybersecurity. all right let's talk about rise machines oh, shall we my God. Like, this is Terminator stuff. Right? Uh, okay, well, currently how, how it's framed is sec uh, security agencies talking about how hackers can use AI in order to mimic AI they want to target. So some companies, right. organizations use AI to protect their systems. Right. Well, why doesn't uh, a hacker just get a mimic AI and test it out and see what the flaws are? So it's like spy versus spy. Right, the, yeah. the old cartoon, you know, black black hatter spy and the white hatter yeah. spy. Yeah, I mean, a good things. example, like phishing. Like for, when people send like like uh, spam mail or phishing mail, right. a lot of AI it's based off of frequency and of those messages being sent. Right. So as a hacker, why don't I build another AI that's similar and I see how many messages I can get through before I get before I get tagged. Right. So it's it's that kind of thing. And again, you know, using and you can. You know, use the imagination and, you know. This is like Terminator stuff when you think about it, right? Like, you build, you build one AI to attack another AI to attack another AI. And where, where, where does it leave us humans? I mean, like <laughs> it or not, it's another form of warfare, right? Like, you can, you, can, you, can, you can have a war with another country without any human being involved. Start it over a deep fake. <laughs> like, without any human involved. Like, we know that in the... In the military complex they were developing fully totally autonomous killing machines like the u.s military was doing that right and ethically they decided that although it would save the lives of of soldiers right they ethically decided that they weren't going to go down that route but other countries are right so again when you think about it can you know a fully autonomous self-thinking machine that is designed to kill what could go wrong with that right like, what could go wrong with that? Terminator. America, I know! Uh, Captain America Civil War. I, know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's, like, <laughs> let's look at the works of fiction to tell us what nonfiction realities we could like, find ourselves in. You know, looking back in time, the past four years in the United States, you, you couldn't have written a movie. Like, like, it's unbelievable, right? So when you're looking at this kind of stuff, and where this potentially can go. I mean, it's kind of scary when you think about it. Hey, that TV show I was watching, they had another episode about this kind of thing, where someone developed an AI, and its purpose was in order to preserve humanity, but the AI was smart enough to detect AI would be the downfall of humanity, so it, its only source solution was to destroy itself. Oh, it's like the Umbrella Court. I have Which one? I don't know, the bad one. Resident Evil? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Which one are you talking about? I thought, I thought you were talking about like, like the Umbrella Company, which, no. is, which, is, which is a different no, the show. No, yeah, the Resident Evil well, yeah. kind of thing, right? Uh, they don't do AI. They do more bioweapons. They're all about bioweapons. Oh, God. Viruses. 
which, oh, geez. It is kind of <laughs> scary when you think about it. I mean, you know, technology, we love technology. We think technology is making the world a better place. I mean, you just look at some of these kids now that are getting prosthesis that are fully bionic, right? Like, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And how they're using 3D printers, like what you want to buy, uh, to create these, these limbs. I mean, it's so cool how technology yeah. is now helping us to battle... COVID-19 and creating, yeah. um, you know, vaccines. And you know you know what's really interesting, by the way? Here we go, off topic again. Nanobots? No, 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 Regeneron, right? How do they make Regeneron from umbilicals, from aborted fetuses? And here they are, the Republicans are 100% against that, right. justifiable, but yet, uh, and anything to do with it and any medicines that come out of it, that's what they've been saying for years. But now that the U.S. president has got it, it's the best thing in the world. Right. Isn't oh, that yes. interesting? Oh, I, I, right? I, I, yeah, I, I saw the a TikTok cells. talking yeah, about about just, what was what what was in that that medication. Yes, yeah. it, it, it came I, from T cells. I, I right? haven't actually verified that yet, but okay. No, it's true. Okay. It's true. I, I, I looked into it. Uh, there was a big thing today on a couple of the different news channels on that very issue about how you, how Regeneron. Bill Gates, who owns shares in the company, he was interviewed saying, "Yes, indeed, that's we use T cells, and the T cells come from umbil umbilical cords of uh, terminated fetuses uh, legally and, and stuff." And so, uh, and of course, Republicans have always been against any. Kind kind of abortion whatsoever. <laughs> and Melon voting. Yeah. Oh wait, who Melon votes? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. The same person. So, but it's it's interesting now. Now that it's proven that it's gonna save lives, now all of a sudden it's it's great. And, you know, everybody needs it. You know, so anyway. I don't care about political ideology. Hypocrisy. I care about hypocrisy. Like political ideology, okay, there's pros and cons to both sides. Right. I just I, I, get I it. hate hypocrites. Hypocrisy. And that and that's what I that's what I have a stance and stay with it. Yeah, no, for sure. No, yeah. although you have a stance and you stick with it, you're also movable if somebody can provide you evidence, because you're always about the evidence, Yeah, but there, to help change your, your position. There right? are some positions that, there's some beliefs and positions that that evidence, it's not about necessarily evidence, uh, which is fine, but it has, but you have to stick to that. If, if you're going to be a hypocrite and, and say one thing and do another thing... But don't you think you can I, change you, your no opinions? Like, of course you can. I, you, you can say something from four years ago. And in today's world, because of the way things change and new knowledge... I mean, like a good example, the article I wrote on dopamine, right? I mean, it, it's it's up to date with the most complete research. Is, but, you know, in two years from now, there may be a different really good research that comes in that says, well, no, actually it does. And here's the fact. So I would change my position mm -hmm. on that. I'm not because, arguing changing position. That's right, fine. Right. But if you're going to stick to position, then actually stick to it. Right. Like, if you had a position that... Like not electing a judge before an election? That kind of... A that, that is more of... Um, not necessarily legal. It's more about just uh, practice. Process. Uh, um, process. Process. Uh, no, what's the one I'm looking for? It's um, a precedent. Precedent. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's about precedent and just uh, professionalism, I guess. I get it. Yeah. No, I get it for sure. But it, you know, this this article, it is kind of scary when you think about it, right? Like you create AI, so let's create a different AI to to challenge that AI, and now there it's going to be like it's going to be the one plus one theory, right? Yeah. Well. I'm looking forward to I'm cyberpunk you, coming out. One of these days, we're going to have this cyborg appear behind us, right? You'll terminate it. You'll terminate it. That's my failed uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, anyways. He'll be back. I'll be back. Go to the chopper. That's Rambo, I think, right? No. no. Chopper. That was Predator. 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 Sorry, Predator. Back to the chopper. Yeah, it's Predator. That's Predator. Okay. Yeah, anyways. You're uh, welcome, Cal. Right now, Cal's on his treadmill or his bicycle doing what he does, watching us every week, going, oh my God, Darren's lost it. Mm, I have. I have. He needs to get out. COVID, please stop. He needs to get out. He needs to get out. What uh, else we got? Last little announcement from us oh. is our uh, Internet Safety Week for parents, families, and caregivers. Uh, the week pass is still up until the 14th. Another week. Is, um, Another basically week. half price on all the programs so yeah. we're talking about a bunch of topics uh ranging from exploitation sexting internet safety tools a 
all kinds of great things. Monitoring, filtering, all kinds of stuff we're going to be talking about yeah. over the week, right? So check it out. I mean, the deal is great. I mean, it, it, it's only like 24 bucks, and if you uh, if you were to sign up for everything, it would be closer to 60 bucks. Yeah. So it's a great discount. Check it out. You will not be disappointed. And for those who sign up, how long will they have access to it to review it? Seven days. You don't have to watch live. Right. It, uh, after each session, it'll be live for a full seven days. That's what we do here in the studio using our technology and the tools we have. And and I think this is important because we've, I've had a couple of emails where people said, oh, you know what, Darren, I'm in Ontario, so the time difference is, is, is not, mm. that's why they're, and I said, well, no, 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 right? Don't worry about that, right? So by signing up, you get to review it over seven days, unlimited, yeah. as much, at a time. If you're live, you get to ask questions live, yeah. which is like the benefit of being there live. But if you actually want to watch the event and learn stuff that we're talking about, yep. you can do it whenever you want, whatever time zone you're on in, right? So that's one of the, ben did you just do that thing with your hair again? It's, yeah. Did Candace cut it? Yeah, but it's it's a continual testing of hairstyles throughout oh, COVID. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, people don't know that your partner, uh, she was actually, she's a licensed hair person, right? Yeah, so when everyone, so when there was full lockdown, everyone had all this, like, massive hair. It was unkept. I was like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so was mom. So was I. True. I don't know what I want to do with my <laughs> hair. Getting a little gray. You should grow it out. I'm getting a little gray. Let's grow it out. No. Nah. I'm actually like, thinking about going for like, the, to uh, the, the total... Um, a dome. I'm thinking about just taking a razor to it now and just yeah. going totally bald. Or grow it up and be like the doc of uh, Back to the Future. Yeah. Marty! Oh, Marty! 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 I'll be back! 16 gigawatts! <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, is that it? Uh, yes. Uh, interesting show. Thanks I think, for sticking I think around. It, I think this show is all about rise of the machines. <laughs> right? I mean, it's this AI deep fakes. It is scary to see where it potentially can go, and I've, how some actors are, 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 are using it, right? Well, as we've seen throughout history, non-science fiction uh, comes out first, and then and then real-world scientists see non-fiction, they try to replicate what they see in non-fiction. So, I mean, what we're seeing today in, like, TV shows, movies... Good example, the eye watch, Dick Tracy. True. Right, the old cartoon yeah, that where, was, where he had that his was, first that was, uh, his, uh, fiction, uh, fiction. watch where he could talk and that kind of stuff. It was all cartoon. Yeah, and so, I mean... Although it may not be the exact same, I think I think looking at fiction does give us an idea of where we could be heading. I mean, a new video game coming I out. Just, I just, um, uh, you know, I watch TikTok, right? And um, so this guy came out with this new plasma lightsaber. <laughs> so it's an actual lightsaber oh, that hatchet? uses a, yes. a plasma and it, it's about the same length yeah. as, and they're actually a it's, YouTuber. It's still hooked up to a machine, yes. right? And that kind of stuff, but it's like, yes. Okay. They've been working on that project for years. That's cool. Right? So it'll be interesting. He was, now that he did, he was going to do some testing with it and he says, stay tuned for that. Yeah. So they, he's actually that. a YouTuber. Is he? Yeah. The, the Hacksmith. Oh. oh, that's right. Yeah. Cause he does some other things too, doesn't he? Uh, they've made uh, they've made a, a fold out shield like uh, like Captain America. Yeah, and and he also did a thing like Tony Stark where he had built one of those lasers, lasers yeah. in his hand and that kind of stuff. There's, there's a couple uh, YouTubers who are making Iron Man like suits, ah. which I mean, mm, pretty cool. interesting. Pretty interesting, right? Pretty interesting. <laughs> in case of zombies. Yeah, <laughs> zombie apocalypse. We're ready for a zombie apocalypse here at this house, don't you think? We're on high ground. Okay. We're on high ground. Yeah. And we do have certain surprises, if needed. Say no more. Say no what more. What surprises are you talking oh, about? I, I, a supply of food? No, I can't divulge that, right? Like, if I divulge the type of surprises we have for a zombie... Flashlights? ...who may be walking up our driveway, then I'm not, I'm not going to do that, right? Like, I'm not going to tip my hand. Anyways. Yeah. Hey, do the green screen thing. What? Can you can you do the green screen thing? Um, Let's do a green screen why? thing. Why? I don't know. I'll just show people what we can do with the green screen. Hey! Look at hey! Hey! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, I have to look over here. Hello! There is our week premium pass right there. That's pretty cool, right? Pretty I'm sorry. Cool. Uh -huh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, let's come Anyways, back to the screen. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Okay. I'm looking forward to my turkey dinner tonight. We're having our turkey dinner oh, tonight. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Just mom and dad. Candice, mm -hmm. I don't know what we're doing. We're going to uh, figure something out. Yeah, you guys can't eat gluten, right? Because I got... That's me! She made stuffing and all. Mm, just, we delicious. just got a... We got one of those um, butterball turkey uh, uh, rolls. Mm. It's got the stuffing in it. Anyways, 
that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Looking cool. forward to it. So, all right. On behalf of myself, I'm Darren. And Brandon, thanks for so much. And we'll see you again next week. And please join us on our Facebook live chat on, in, I guess we're going live. This goes out on Monday, which is Tuesday with the chat, right? So we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow on the Facebook live yeah. event. 13th, 7 p.m. start. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody.